everyone, welcome back to a new coffee chat video. Today's video is going to be on kind of like a reality of living away from home because I did a poll on Twitter and you guys wanted to see this. So yeah, I've just kind of got a list that me and Harry have come up with of kind of pros and cons of living away from home. This is primarily um, directed towards living in uni halls away from sort of not very near your home. So yeah, that's just kind of what well, this is the list that we've come up with purely because that's kind of based on our experience so yes hope you guys enjoy this and I'll try and explain this as best I can so yes just remember that all these are my opinion they aren't fact just based on sort of my experiences so yes we shall just get started just so I can end this video on a positive note I'm going to begin with the cons the technically negative sides of living away from home and I'm sorry about lighting hopefully I'm going to try and edit it but it's all of a sudden really overcast outside like it looks like it's going to tip it down with rain so I apologise for that. The first thing we came up with was that when you're living in sort of a uni halls environment you are exposed to a lot of people with different upbringings to you so that can mean different backgrounds, different values, different attitudes towards certain things so it can be a negative thing, especially if you're someone with very, very, um, I want to say opinionated uh, views on certain things, but more so it's just it, sometimes you just clash with people and uh, luckily we didn't really experience that in our flat, but I mean, there are stories of people, you know, just completely clashing with other people and unfortunately it does happen. So that can be a con because if you don't get on with someone like you are living with them, um, but hopefully that doesn't happen to you and hopefully if anyone, if you're going to fall out with anyone, it won't be someone in your flat. So another con is that it is very scary at first and when you go into it, it seems a lot harder than it is. So um, it almost kind of seems like it's all a bit too much to handle at first, especially when you're sort of preparing. Um, it's very excitement, but it's almost kind of nerve driven excitement. Um, I don't really know how to explain it, but it's kind of just like it, it, it seems very, very overwhelming at first. And obviously it does get easier but it just seem, it can seem like there's a lot because you are doing this yourself and you are living by yourself away from the family despite being able to get help whenever you want you kind of want to go through it yourself and you will face sort of some bumps in the road but yeah it can seem quite scary if you are in a situation that you don't really know how to react. Thinking on with this you are kind of thrown in the deep end in a lot of ways because it's almost instant you notice the difference and personally like I really really enjoyed that feeling as much as it was scary I really enjoyed the feeling of just being completely independent and only having to rely on myself but it can be quite a negative thing for a lot of people because you literally all of a sudden are doing everything yourself. So another thing is directed more again at unis so if you do not get on with your flatmates or the people you are sharing a house with, sharing a flat with Whoever you are now living with, if you don't get on, you can feel quite excluded. Again, we had a pretty good experience, but um, again, there are stories. People have felt completely excluded because, you know, it's very easy to isolate yourself if something bad happens. It, in response to like a bad situation, you know, if you have an argument with someone or something, it's so much easier for you just to sort of go in your room and be in your little bubble and that's fine if you prefer doing that if you want to do that you know I'm not here to judge everyone is different um, but I understand I completely get that it can sometimes make you feel quite excluded homesickness is a real thing a lot of people I know experience really bad homesickness especially if you have like if a lot of your friends stay at home or stay nearby to home and you've gone further away also if you're really close to your family of course you're going to feel homesickness so everyone does experience it at some point and some people can feel it quite extreme so I understand that is um, quite a major con and probably one of the biggest most notable cons of living away from home and the final con that I could come up with or we could come up with was um, going and living by yourself there are a lot of high expectations that both you put on yourself and also you know other people put on you and sometimes they can be quite hard to meet so you know um, things obviously I'm just thinking of examples now but things like money um, if you go into overdraft if you have a lot less money than you know people expect if you haven't been quite sensible with your money as you'd like it can be quite um, ego bruising and you know you you kind of get quite upset with yourself because you aren't handling it perfectly but that is totally normal I'm just going to put a positive spin on that it's totally normal because you are feeling your way like I said you're thrown in the deep end 
So anything like that where you don't quite meet your own expectations or someone else's expectations, you just got to remember you are still learning. Okay, so moving on to the pros, a much, pos much more positive um, vibe for this video. The first one is that independence is absolutely incredible. I absolutely loved being independent and as much as I love my family, I love living at home, coming back for these last three months of summer after my first year, it is so much different. You notice so much more how good independence is. I know people that um, are real homebirds that always struggled before uni to be independent because they've just been, you know, it's just how they, they are. Um, but I've gone to uni and found the independence insane because you just, it's so much fun because you learn so much about everything. And it's, it's just, uni-wise, it's the, th the whole idea of being able to do stuff in the day. So it's not like being in a school day where you're in like nine or probably like eight, half eight in the morning and then having to leave probably by the time you get home about six-ish for a lot of people. Where you're a tired day, you're in a school building, that is it. But at uni, you have the independence to in between your lectures. You, you don't have to be in one building. You do whatever you want. You can go home, you can do your own work, you can chill. Just all that sort of independence is absolutely it's just so, so much fun. Sorry if you can hear rain in the background. I don't want to close the window, but it's just started raining. The next pro of living away from home, and more particularly uni, is that you meet loads and loads of new people, and it is so exciting because you you meet like loads of friends, people you're living with, and it's, it's always nice just chatting to new people. And you learn so many skills from this sort of sociable side of life. I never, I was always very good sort of before uni at being by myself and I, I really enjoyed being alone because I knew that I could get my work done, I could do what I needed to do and that was it. But coming to uni, I have learned so many skills in just talking to anyone. I could probably talk to a wall now if I wanted to. And it's just so, so much fun meeting all these new people you could meet like some people that are going to stay in your life for the rest of your life i have friends that i've made that i'm moving into a house with now i've said it so many times that literally are going to be my friends for life and i couldn't imagine not living with them now so it's so much fun meeting all these new people another pro is that it's a new environment to explore especially the further away you move from you from your home it is a brand new area to explore. i moved five hours away from my home to go to uni and it's an entirely new area even just the traveling aspect going to and from home new areas to explore new way to do it and it's so nice sort of having this new environment to feel out and try new things and discover new areas it's just again it adds on to the freedom it is it's so much fun i need a new vocabulary because i keep saying that another thing is that you get a different perspective on how the world works so things like money friends relationships yourself you get a whole new perspective on it so you probably will learn things that you didn't know you could do you will try new things that you probably can't do but you kind of have to so i'm not like i'm not the most avid cook but um i've done a whole new perspective on bills money everything like that it is all your own now and it can seem quite daunting but you get a completely new perspective on everything and you realise sort of the reality and it's a really, really nice reassuring reality check because you know that everything that kind of seemed quite daunting at first, eventually you'll just think, actually, I can do that, I have done it. And yeah, I can, I'm, I'm, I'm grown up, I can go into the world now and not be worried about any of it. Okay, so I think that is everything I have to talk about. As you can tell, I gushed in the pros section just because I had, I, I loved moving away from home. I love my home, but moving away from home was the best thing that I've ever done, even if, you know, you don't particularly enjoy uni. Just the whole independence aspect of everything is something that I really, really enjoyed. Sorry about the rain. <laughs> I can't stress enough how much fun I have being independent, and hopefully you guys feel the same. Um, obviously everyone has different experiences, that some people don't enjoy living alone, but I think there's always sort of a nicer, new way to look at it, you know, change perspective. So I hope this kind of maybe put you at ease if you're worried about moving away from home, if you're living at uni and things. I, um, if you want any advice or anything, I always have my DMs open. If you want to message me on Snapchat, Twitter and, or Instagram, um, you can always message me on there. I will always reply to your questions if you have any questions or anything you need advice on regarding to uni, moving away from home, anything like that, let me know. Or you can just ask down below and I'll answer there. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys soon for another one.
Bye.